Yo guys, what is going on? Got a really cool uh, deck profile for you guys today. This is going to be a Sakuya Lord Nightmon deck profile. So this is mixing some of the new Sakuya Mon support from the EX2 Digital Hazard set, along with the Lord Nightmon base that has been well established since BT5, but hasn't really seen a lot of play. There's a lot of really cool combos you can do uh, with this deck. So let's go ahead and go into it. Uh, shout out to my buddy Alex Huang Zero for giving me the inspiration for this deck. I genuinely did did not know it even existed until a little while ago, but I've been messing around with it quite a little bit. So for the Digi Eggs, we are playing four copies of Viximon. This is the hard ones per turn. When you use a option card with a cost up two or more, you get to trigger draw one. So you are not only playing some of the plugins, but a couple of more um two plus cost option cards. Just to help with the consistency, this deck actually cycles quite a bit. Uh, so despite being a traditional stack deck, you can actually uh, do some shenanigans. So of course for the deck profile, for the uh, level 3s, we're playing 4 copies of Starmons. This was pretty standard uh, with Lord Nightmon back in BT5, just being able to control the board, blow stuff up, and even as a standalone card, this becomes uh, much more relevant with the introduction of D-Reapers because uh, Starmons by itself can delete a searcher, preventing your opponent from putting it underneath the Mother D-Reaper the following turn. Overall, just a really good card. You can actually spam the field pretty hard, so being able to have this uh, lets you clear um, stuff like an Imperial board, being able to like uh, Lord Knight swing into Imperial Dramon, uh, you know, do this minus 2000 onto the Imperial swing over, uh, and it's just overall a really good card. Of course, for the consistency, four copies of Pulsemon, uh, being able to play this off of Lord Knight is also really good, giving you that extra draw. And then, of course, if you're at that three uh, exact security threshold, you get to trigger both effects, both gaining a memory uh, and drawing a card. And if you're at three exactly playing this off of Lord Knight, the extra memory can actually come in handy quite a bit. And then for the last uh, couple of rookies here, just playing two copies of Bushi Agumon to go for game, uh, and then one copy of the promo Patamon here to recover uh, when you need it. Imperial still running around the format Red Hybrid, lots of aggressive decks, so being able to uh, resolve this to save yourself a security card on play. I prefer this over Salomon, uh, and prefer this over Lucy, since it is uh, still a level 3 you can evolve if the need arises. Uh, so that is it for the level 3 lineup. For the level 4 lineup, again, pretty standard. Uh, if you go back to BT5, still playing uh, four copies of Terurimon as well as uh, your four copies of the blocker Pedomon. So both of these are really, really essential because they are one cost evolved. They help you build up into your win condition a lot more faster uh, because of the fact they're one to evolve. And then of course Pedomon being a blocker is uh, really important. Blockers are definitely better in this meta now that Blue Hybrid is not necessarily as popularly played. Of course it is still a deck that you need to keep in mind. And of course being able to uh, get bottom deck by Paleodramon still feels really, really bad, but again, it's just another one cost that you can uh, play. Definitely helps you save uh, saves you games at times. And then for the uh, other champions, just playing two copies of Kazimon because of course playing a lot of yellow tamers in this deck, so hybrid for game, still a really, really uh, good way to end it out. Uh, that's going to do it for the level five, uh, level fours. The level fives, on the other hand, uh, get a little bit interesting, so of course, playing the four copies of Nightmon. This card becomes increasingly more broken now that we have access to Sakuyamon. And I'll kind of talk about the combos of this uh, deck a little bit later. So Nightmon still really essential. Being able to kill a 4,000 or lower is really nice, especially because Stingmon, XV, both within that uh, 4,000 threshold. Uh, and then the other level 5 is uh, playing two copies of Taumon. So Taumon on Evolve, you get to play a Rika from your hand for uh, zero cost. And then it's Inherited uh, says that whenever you use an option card with a cost of two or more one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2,000. So the ability to just randomly clear level 3s um, or reduce your opponent's, uh, let's say, high level Digimon by 2,000, putting them in range of stuff like Nightmon slash Anjumon, things like that, is really important. And then, of course, you also get the minus 2 off of the Sakuyamon effect as well. So Talmon, really, really nice. And then the last ultimate I'm playing, of course, is just two copies of Anjumon. Anjumon's sec attack minus 2 is really relevant against a lot of the decks, uh, but the main effect you're using here is the inherited one attacking. You get to play level 3 Digimon from your hand as long as you've got 3 or fewer security cards. So if you 
are at that three or four security threshold, uh, being able to combo this with Lord Knight to play two things off of one swing is really important in a meta uh, with a lot of removal. This is important because you can always evolve the Lord Knight in the breeding, but you're not losing tempo because anytime you swing with Lord Knight, you're getting to spawn two things from your hand for uh, basically zero cost. So that is really, really uh, nice for the level fives. And then for the level six, of course, still playing uh, the boss monster for copies of Lord Knight. So this is the one you definitely want to see early on. Lord Knight is still a very powerful card. Still need to uh, respect this card. Uh, of course, has two really good effects. Um, of course, the first effect is you may play a yellow level three Digimon card or a yellow level uh, Digimon with a warrior and it's tied from your hand without paying the memory cost. So being able to play either Nightmon or any of the uh, level threes that we uh, talked about earlier, Bushi Agumon effectively getting you to checks, Padamon to heal, Pulsemon to draw or gain the memory, and then Starmons to be able to uh, have that border removal. So lots of utility with Lord Nightmon. Of course, the best thing being able to play off of this is the Nightmon. And the reason for that is not only, of course, because it's a level 5, you can go into a level 6 very, very quickly uh, because of these three cards, mainly uh, Sakuyamon, but then, of course, slash Anjibon to finish up our level 6 count. So, Sakuyamon is a new addition to this deck, has two really good effects. Of course, when Digivolving, you get to unsuspend one of your Digimon. That is a key uh, effect right there. And then after that, for each Tamer you have in play, return one option card with plug-in in its name from your trash to your hand. So, but essentially, for every single Tamer you have in play, be it uh, 1, 2, or 3, you get to add that many plugins back from your trash. You're typically only ever adding one because I'm only playing four plugins in this deck, but that can come up uh, quite a lot in the more grindy matchups. And then your turn whenever you use an option card with a cost of two or more, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3,000. So that part is not once per turn, unlike the Taiwan inherited. So if you use, say, like a, uh, a plugin uh, plus like a maybe a yellow memory boost or something, uh, that's a total of minus 8,000 twice off of this and once off of the um, Taiwan inherited. And then lastly, we are playing just one copy of slash Anjumon slash plus Nightmon is still a really really good combo helps clear boards um, but just a one-up because you don't really want to see this early on you want to combo with the Nightmon so these guys are effectively combo pieces while uh, the Lord Nightmon is your main hard hitter so then for the uh, tamers and option cards playing two copies of Rika and one copy of TK uh, as well as two copies of Digimon Emperor so a really really weird uh, tamer lineup TK, of course, is still really good, uh, but I think resolving one is totally fine. You definitely uh, want to see Rika more often. So Rika, of course, is also a memory tamer, but then when you attack during your turn with a Taumon or a uh, Sakuyamon, essentially uh, only those two because you're not really playing any of the other evolutions uh, in the in, in the deck, uh, you get to use a, um, you can suspend her to use a plugin from your hand at no cost. So that combos really, really well, get basically letting you play uh, the Digivolution plugin for a cost of zero and then using that effect to send you uh, to save you three memory because when you're evolving with this card you get to evolve a Digimon that is a cost three or less uh, and then if you're doing that for free with Rika it is a lot of really good value again also helps you cycle uh, a lot because you not only have the Digivolution plugin but then of course two copies of the Digimon Emperor which slows down the game a little bit it's a little bit easy to play around I will admit uh, but the effect where you get to opponent's turn uh, draw a card when one of your opponent's level five or lower uh, Digimon is deleted. That is a really, really solid effect. And of course, being randomly good against like Imperial or the Rookie Rush decks is always nice. So then for the option cards, I am playing four copies of the Digivolution plugin S. This is actually the only plugin I'm playing. I don't think you need the other ones though. They are always um, able to be played. Uh, I would probably just play the Psych Attack Plus one plugin but usually uh, this one is the best. So what this card does is if you have a tamer, you may ignore the color requirement. So you don't need a green in this deck. You just need one of your tamers. Uh, and then on its main effect, you get to trigger draw one. And then after that, you can Digivolve your Digimon into any Digimon in your hand um, for an evolution cost of three or less for free. So that effectively gets you into your Lord Knight or your Sakuyamon or any of your level fives uh, at a two cost. But if you're playing it from with Rika, it's basically a zero cost. So that is a really, really nice. I'll show you 
the combo with this a little bit later. And then for the other option cards, playing uh, your three copies of Yellow Memory Boost and one copy of Reinforced Memory Boost. This is really important uh, because you want to play option cards a lot of times because of the Taiwan Inherited Sakuyamon's effect as well as your Viximon to be able to draw cards. And then Reinforcing Memory Boost just because this is a really, really broken yellow card. And I think basically every yellow deck should be playing the one copy of this. And then lastly, for uh, another broken option card, just one copy of Blinding Ray because a lot of times when you're going for game, this is really nice being able to hybrid people um, and then just getting that extra memory is really important. So on to the combos. Uh, the kind of uh, main combo you want to do is if you got like uh, Lord Knight, Sakuya plus Nightmon, uh, what you can do is when attacking, you can declare your attack with Lord Nightmon, effect uh, play the Nightmon for free minus 4,000 or something, and then if you're at 3, like let's say you've got your Rika on field uh, with that, so if you're like start, a lot of times you'll move up into your Lord Nightmon from breeding, you'll swing, play the Nightmon minus 4,000 or something, check something, and you'll Digivolve into Sakuyamon for a cost of uh, 3, go to 0, effect unsuspend, and then you what you can do is just swing with Lord Nightmon if again, its effect is not once per turn, so then maybe you can play something like a Starmon from your hand. So off of that interaction, you've got uh, two level 6s on the field, as well as another Digimon. So that's really uh, the simple combo, but there's a lot of other times you can do really uh, more complicated combos. So for example, uh, what you can do is maybe you are moving up like a level four from your breeding, so something like this. Uh, and then you've got the Taumon plus Rika in hand. What you can do a lot of the times is you can do something like uh, Digivolve the Taumon uh, for a cost of 3 effect to play the Rika, or maybe you've already got Rika on field, you're at 0, uh, and then you can swing like let, over a Digimon or something, or security, you can suspend Rika, play the Digivolution plugin, uh, effect of that will let you draw a card, and then also you'll be able to Digivolve into a Digimon for a 3 cost of less than, you can just Digivolve straight into Sakuyamon, and then Sakuyamon will again draw you a card and then you'll be able to unsuspend it on its one evolve and then you'll also be able to add back the plug-in card and then you'll check your card uh, and then you'll also be able to draw an extra card off this and then you can swing again. So there's a lot of really cool uh, combos you can do with the Sakuyamon plus uh, the plug-in combo. Or maybe if you've got like a pre-established Sakuyamon and you are moving out uh, a level 5 from the breeding area. So let's say you've got a stack like this where you've got you know maybe a bushi Turimon, anjumon whatever uh if you've maybe gone to sakuyamon early game what you can do is uh you can swing with sakuyamon you can suspend rika you can then use your plug-in effect draw your card digivolve lord nightmon for zero uh and then check your security you're still at three so then you can do something like lord knight effect play a nightmon check something uh, and then go into sakuyamon effect unsuspend this add this back and then again rinse, rinse and repeat go into this go into nightmon and then probably like past turn or if you've got a yellow memory boost you can pop this use this again for two uh, effect to go into like a slash Anjumon or something. So there is definitely a lot of uh, combo potential for the deck. Of course, you definitely need to draw your pieces. Like uh, every combo I've talked about is like a three to four card combo. But like I said, you do have plenty of ways to cycle within the deck and you're playing a lot of yellow memory boosts. So being able to uh, get the combo pieces you need is really important. Of course, off, off of that single interaction, you're usually like if you've got Emperor set up too, you can draw like four or five cards in one turn because you can like draw off the plugin, draw off the Digivolve, uh, like Nightmon, delete something, draw off that, go Sakuya, unsuspend, draw off that, add this back, play this, draw again, and go into like another Lord Nightmon. So there's a lot of really, really cool combos you can do, and I'm probably not explaining it uh, the best. Um, but guys, that is going to do it for the profile. Let me know what you think of the uh, Lord Knight Sakuya deck um, in the comments below. I'll probably have a link to the gameplay um, I featured in for this deck down in the comments uh, below or down in the description below. Uh, so go check that out if you are interested. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.